Today I'm cooking up some southern fried backstrap. Now backstrap's widely considered to be one of the best parts of the deer, and I'll show you how to turn this into golden fried goodness. The first thing we need to do is defrost the backstrap in the refrigerator, take it out and rinse it in cold water, and then place it in a suitable container. Now I marinate overnight in whole milk and a generous amount of Louisiana hot sauce. My backstrap was tenderized at the processor. Before you cook, drain off the mixture of the milk and the hot sauce. Prepare two small bowls with one cup of flour each, and then add in two tablespoons of cornstarch and two teaspoons of salt, pepper, garlic. Then I put the lids on and give them a good shake. Today, all of my seasoning is in the flour. Some of you may prefer to season the meat directly, and that's fine too. Prepare another bowl with buttermilk only. Dip the backstrap in the flour in bowl number one, and then into the buttermilk, and then coat it in the flour in bowl number two. Set it aside. I like to get this part out of the way so I can concentrate on my cooking. Heat up your cooking oil to 375 degrees. Today, I'm using canola oil. Add the backstrap steaks one at a time into the oil, and of course, be mindful that you got hot oil. Just look at that cooking action. It's getting after it. You can flip the steaks over as they cook. Remove from the oil when they're golden brown and the bubbles are somewhat diminished. Just look at that stack of golden perfection. Tender, delicious, perfect. I like to eat this with rice and cream gravy. And of course, I gotta have my ketchup. Enjoy. You can find this recipe in the description area at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue at YouTube. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Flying Dog Barbecue. <laughs>